Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hometown Kitchen. Today I'm with Suzanne Latta. Hey Suzanne. Hi Katie. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm excited to bake with you today. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, can you tell me what we're making? A peanut butter fudge cake. Oh my gosh. That's three of my favorite things. Yes, and it is just that. It's fudgy and yummy. Good. Well, what all is going to go into this dish? All-purpose flour, okay. white lily preferably, mm -hmm. um, sugar, um, eggs, baking soda, cocoa, real butter, mm -hmm. water. That might be all. Okay. Peanut butter. Peanut, peanut butter, butter, of course. And buttermilk. That sounds delicious. That's it. Okay, well to get started, do you want me to go ahead and preheat the oven? Yes, please, Perfect. 350. Okay, great. All right, what should we do first? Um, we'll do our dry ingredients first. Okay, and you said you prefer this brand? Yes, mm -hmm. that's the brand my mom chooses. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's see, we got a half a cup there. We do what our moms do. Yes, it's certainly nice to hand down a recipe. So two cups? Two cups. Almost got our flour. Okay. Two cups of sugar, granulated sugar. Yeah, I have a feeling this dish is going to be quite sugary. Very sugary, very buttery. It's not low fat. One okay. teaspoon of baking powder. So did you come up with this dish on your own? How did you find this? Um, it was a Southern Living recipe. Let's stir those three okay. things together. And I found it probably 15 years ago. Oh, wow. And decided that would be a good thing. Yes. And it has been. Good. So I make it all holidays, oh, Christmas, okay. Thanksgiving. Um, I have a brother-in-law who dies for it and my husband. Mm -hmm. But now I've, I have to hide it at Thanksgiving or Christmas <laughs> because everybody eats it or takes it home. And then Bruce has none. Oh, he needs his own bag. Because he wants his dessert yes. at night. Right. So now I'll cut his off and hide it in the cabinet. <laughs> But That's it's, nice it's a favorite, it's a favorite. I can see. All right, that looks pretty well mixed. What are we gonna add to this? Let's beat two eggs. Okay. And then we'll add those to our dry ingredients. I need my granddaughter here to crack these eggs. That was pretty beautifully done. Do you make this with kids? No. Okay. <laughs> Not usually. It's too involved. Yeah. As, you're, as you will notice. Yeah. So no, we stick with the simple things with the kiddos. Well, it just seems to have a lot of layers of goodness. It does. And it's not hard, but you do have to follow the recipe. And you could probably do these eggs in a KitchenAid mixer or by hand or yes. with, okay. And actually you can do the batter in a KitchenAid mix with oh, a KitchenAid okay. mixer. That's good to know. Or you can stir it mm -hmm. if you don't want to mess up the mixer bowl. Mm -hmm. And you can do the frosting the same. Okay. When we get to that point. Perfect. All right, how are these looking? They look good. Okay. We can, we're going to go to the stove okay. with our two sticks of butter, real butter, um, a fourth a cup of cocoa. Do you want me to measure that? That would be great. I'll start melting the butter. Real butter is... Real, oh yes, real butter only. I think the original recipe called for margarine, mm -hmm. but I tweaked that. I think you probably made the right call. Yes. And after 15 years, you would know if you needed to change something. Yes, absolutely. We're gonna melt that okay. first, and then we'll add our cocoa and our water and our buttermilk. Great. I'm gonna measure out the buttermilk. So I think next holiday, Bruce might need his own pan of this. Yes, yeah. that's, that's what he said. Make yeah. sure and save some for me. You gotta not just save him a piece. He's gonna need a whole personal serving pan. And he says it's better the longer it sits. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Probably gets that fudgy texture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, not a long time, just a day or two. It doesn't last past that, no, it sounds no. like. It's too popular. We have a crowd usually, <laughs> too. That... I think that's such a unique um, dessert to bring, too, because not everyone attempts to do fudge. It's usually pies or yes, something it's... a little simpler. And chocolate and peanut butter is not your typical mm -hmm. Thanksgiving dessert. True. I think of things like Valentine's Day and yes. Reese's. All right, this butter is looking almost ready. And it's okay if it's not complete. Okay, it might be ready then. When you get that kind of incorporated, I'll, we can add the buttermilk and the water. So what layer will this be? This is the cake layer. Okay. This is added to your dry ingredients mm -hmm. and um, mixed together. And that's your bottom layer. Mm -hmm. We'll add vanilla as well. Okay. 
Oh yeah, that's looking really good. And so we'll add vanilla to that and then that portion will go into the dry ingredients? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then we just mix. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. And then we can go ahead and add these. Okay. All right, this is almost to a boil. The edges are starting to bubble. Yes. Do you think that's hot that's enough? That's great, okay. that's great. And then how would you suggest adding it to the mixture? Um, let's stir this around a bit. Okay. Get those eggs hidden. Yeah, so that they're not getting all that heat. Mm -hmm. You don't want chocolate scrambled eggs. No, and that will happen if you're not very careful. We'll do it carefully. Okay. Um, I have scrambled the eggs before. <laughs> And then you have to start over. No. Nicely done. I'm just going to stir till it's very, very incorporated. Okay. And like I said, you can use a mixer. Try to get the lumps out. And how long will this part need to cook? Uh, 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. And I tend to try to underbake a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. So I don't no, risk, I do. <laughs> risk over baking. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's good. And we'll just need to spray our pan with okay. Pam. Or you can use the Baker's Joy or whatever you choose, but that works fine. So this will be our first main layer. Yes. It's just going right in? It, right in. Okay. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> I'll give this a little scrape. Even though I'd really just rather lick the spoon, I guess I'll add it, it to tastes, our pan. It tastes really good. I can imagine. You can get past the raw egg. <laughs> the things we risk. It All can right. go into the oven. Do you want to start at about 20 minutes and check it? Let's do that. So Suzanne, while that's cooking, I want to know a little bit more about you and Bruce. Okay. How did you guys meet? It was a blind date. Really? Yes, I'd never laid eyes on him ever. <laughs> um, he had at least seen my picture. You hadn't seen his picture? No, I had no wow. idea. Um, we had mutual friends, a, a guy that lived here, okay. and then I'm from Gadsden. And um, he knocked on my door, and that was the first time I saw him. And first thoughts? Well, I don't know if I had any thoughts right away. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the night, which went on forever, where I gave him my list of what I expected, and it's bad. And um, <laughs> I knew it was there was potential. Mm -hmm. I won't say love at first sight, because I don't believe in that, mm -hmm. but potential. Okay. Well, that's so sweet. That was... October of 06. Okay. And we were both, you know, we're a blended family. Mm -hmm. So we had, you know, children and all the ins and outs living in different cities, but it worked. I love that. Mm -hmm. And if you could say, what did you learn either from that experience in dating or previous experiences in dating, what would be some dating advice that you could offer? Or maybe you wish you had had. Do not settle. Do not settle for less than you deserve or less than you expect. Mm -hmm. Don't lower your expectations for anyone that's and good. demand respect. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, the respect is the bottom line for me, as I told him on our first date. Good. Yeah. You laid it out. But he was, he's so respectful. Yeah. To, still to this day. What about in marriage? What advice would you have or? Well, first you should marry the right person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's first, and um, you know, you have to let a lot go. You have to give a hell lot. But if your temperament mixes well with your mates, you know, marry somebody that gets you. Mm -hmm. You know, the bad, the good, and the ugly. You know, not somebody that just sees the nice side, but Bruce gets me. He gets my personality, my flaws, and I get him. Mm -hmm. we, we get each other. Sounds like y'all are a important. good team. We are, we're a good team. Good. Well, tell me about how he proposed. Well, it wasn't romantic. Um, we went actually and picked out my ring and we were going to get married. How long had y'all been dating? Um, two and a half years okay. at that point. And um, his son, who was 10 when we met, was, um, he told Bruce one morning they were driving to school and he said, um, how long have you been dating Miss Suzanne? And he said, no, about two and a half years. And Brock said, she's going to dump you if you don't marry her. <laughs> and he was right. <laughs> he was right. And so that got the ball rolling. Wow. And we married like a few months later. Okay. Sometimes you just need a little light pressure. Yes. <laughs> From the child. 
Well, do you ever make this dish for him for Valentine's Day? Um, not really for Valentine's, mm -hmm. but other occasions. Yes. Yeah. Or just because sometimes. Yeah. Usually for Valentine's we go out. Good. But um, I make it at holiday time for our families. Mm -hmm. And I love to cook. I nurture people with food. I'm sure Bruce knows that. Yeah, I was raised that way, and that's the way I do our children. It's a love language. It is. It is, and it creates memories. Yeah. So it's, it's good. We make it a lot, though. Good. Well, thank you for sharing that with us You're today. Welcome. All right, Suzanne, I think the cake is ready, and it smells good. All right, so that's our base and our first layer. Yes. What can I be doing to work on the icing? We're going to melt a stick of butter. Okay a fourth a cup of cocoa, and our one-third cup of buttermilk. Okay. I'm gonna mix that together. And you can put all that in together. You don't have to melt the butter first. Perfect. And I'm going to measure out this peanut butter. A cup and a half. It's gonna give it that Reese's flavor. Yes. I'm gonna eyeball this, it might not be exact. And that's okay, it doesn't have to be. You can do more or less peanut butter. I'm gonna put this in the microwave. You don't have to do this, but I think we will just to speed up the process. Mm -hmm. And I'm just working on this till it's all incorporated, is that right? Yes, okay. and it can come to like a low boil and you'll know it's, it's ready. Now you don't have to microwave your peanut butter, but um, it makes it spread a little easier on the hot cake. And then when we pour this on, that's the final layer? It is. Perfect. And the frosting will get a little bit hard okay. it sets up a little like fudge because we'll pour that over two cups of confectioner sugar and add a teaspoon of vanilla and then we'll be finally done while this is heating i'm going to go ahead and measure out our dry ingredients you said two cups yes okay and you can pour your frosting on the hot cake and then it just needs to cool and some like to eat it warm and you can certainly do that but i like to cool it and how much vanilla? One teaspoon. Okay. Do you want me to bring it over? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, we're just gonna add this to the powdered sugar. Oh my gosh. So it sort of makes like an icing glaze mm -hmm. with that sugar. And just stir. And as soon as you get it all stirred, and I tend to try to do it quickly, mm -hmm. then you just pour it over the peanut butter. Try to get your lumps out. Yeah, before it starts to harden. Yeah. That peanut butter looks delicious. It looks like it just melted. Yeah, it did, because the cake was so warm. Is it ready to pour? Looks good. Okay. It's very good. All right, here we go. And it's okay if your peanut butter shows through. It, it doesn't matter. It's kind of just spreading out on its own. It does, nice. yeah. I never use a knife or spread with anything. I just let it do its thing. You could maybe get fancy and make one of those marbled patterns you with could. that chocolate and peanut butter. Kind of tiger butterish, and then it'll it'll get hard. That looks pretty. So, about how long does it take to set? Um, not long. Okay, probably about thirty minutes. Great. Well, we'll give it thirty minutes, and then I can't wait to try it. It'll be yummy. Well, Suzanne, this looks delicious, and I'm excited to try it. It's yum. Are you ready? I am. Oh my gosh, all the layers. It's very rich. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. It's perfect. It's very good. Wow. You might need to start making this more than just holidays. Maybe so. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being You're with welcome. us. Today. I enjoyed it. And thank you guys for watching us in the Hometown Kitchen. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>